Hello friends, welcome on in. I'm excited to be here with some more Lego Super Mario fun with you guys. Thanks to our victory in the Lego Super Mario Championship and of course Lego for sending us this. I'm so excited to be diving in to a full box of the mystery packs from Lego Super Mario. We're gonna be showing you guys what pieces to look out for as I figure out what's inside of these um, so that you guys can know how to find the mystery packs that you're looking for. Let's get on in there and check it out. Before we get started with diving through all of these mystery packs, I do want to remind you guys I live stream on Twitch four times a week. We were actually recently building a bunch of the LEGO Super Mario sets on stream. We do viewer build requests. We do lots of fun creative builds, our most recent one being from Paper Mario. Um, so if you guys ever want to come hang out and see what it's like bring in some crazy LEGO creations to life live, you can do that over on my Twitch channel. So we've got our mystery box here in front of us a really nice packaging as you would expect to kind of see in stores and stuff like that this is obviously how a lot of stores will have it displayed you get all 10 of the builds shown on the two sides of the box and it does include the little mini builds that are along with it because at first when i just saw one of the packs i was like oh man how are you gonna figure out all the other pieces but luckily the boxes got you covered of course we're gonna you know figure out what exact pieces you're gonna be looking for in every single one um but really all we have to do now is kind of go through all these see if we can figure out what they are do our best to guess anyways um i'm do pretty confident that based on all the pieces that i've seen so far you can feel for every single individual build just based on the unique pieces that are in there um i'm very lucky to have one of the miss i like have already had one of the mystery packs so i'm gonna like lay out the bags here in the order that they're on this sheet and then we'll go through open them up and see if i got it all right so we're just gonna fast forward through all of the feeling and opening up and we'll see where we end up in a second let's do it up Alrighty, after a little bit of hand cramping, we have gone through all 20 packs. I'm pretty sure I have two of each, which would be totally amazing. And hopefully that's the case for all the boxes out there. Um, but the only way to find out is to open these guys up. So let's speed on through and see how well we did in guessing what are in all of these bags. Okay, all 20 packs are open. And I have to say, I am very pleased to report that I nailed it and got everything correct. And it turns out there's two of everything, at least in my box. Can't speak for any other boxes out there. So don't get too excited that you can grab a box and get two of each. That might not be the case with everyone. I might've just gotten really lucky here. Um, but we're all now gonna get these guys built. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more about which parts you can look out for in each of these bags. You know that you'll be getting the right one when you go out there and look for yourselves. All right, we now have all 10 of these amazing little builds brought to life. And I gotta say, they were amazing builds. I'm really, really impressed with the unique and creative ways that LEGO came up with, with bringing all of these characters to life and making them really fun and, and cute little builds. The spinies are maybe the more, a slightly more on the boring side, but I really like the tree in the background of this guy here. Um, and then the molding itself on it, these little shells are really, really well done. So you really can't complain too much. Um, fun stuff across the board. The ghost was a lot of plain old brick building. Nothing too crazy there. But most of the other builds had some fun snot, some really cute environmental stuff that I think made them really, really, really fun. Not every set included extras. Um, only, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them did. Some of them with like the spiny guys and then the Goomba here, the flying Goomba here. Or the Paragoomba um, didn't have them uh, just because they had no small piece in them. But there are lots of cool little extra bits here that I think will be great for adding on to your main Super Mario levels. Um, and obviously all of these guys coming with bases is super fantastic in that they give you lots of fun little ways to add just a little bit more to your Lego Super Mario levels, which is super duper cool. Now let's get to the good part, the part that shows you guys all of the pieces that you want to look out for for each of these characters. We have it up on the screen here and I wanna know we're gonna have a link in the description of the video to a tweet with the picture that you can just save right onto your phone. So when you're going out to look for these characters, you can just pull that you know picture up real quick, see all of these different pieces. So sometimes you gotta look for a combination. That's what the pluses are for. But basically a combination of like two or three different pieces will help indicate that it is the correct set that you've got in front of you. And just to wrap up, I thought I would highlight what some of my favorites from these are. So I'm just gonna go with a top three. Uh, we'll start with Bullet Bill. I mean, Bullet Bill, I think is super iconic. I love the little cactus. This is a similar to design that we saw in one of the Lego Super Mario sets, but I do think it's just a fantastic looking little build. Um, I think my next favorite would be, uh, man, what's this guy called? The Urchin, the Urchin. 
Uh, I love the way they use that, like, uh, you know, kind of funky little Lego gear piece to create the effect of him splashing up. And then just all the little spikes on him look so, so good. And then last, and obviously not least, um, honestly, the build wasn't necessarily that special, but man, does the little bomb arm look so, so good. Um, you know, just oh, so iconic seeing him in Lego form. Um, guys, that's everything. Hope it was super duper helpful. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which character pack you're looking forward to most. Thanks for watching and happy building out there.